We've just been to the Monday night sale in Tewkesbury. Alan and Skid arrived as auction virgins, but bid on so much stuff, they look like old pros. <laughs> what have we just bought? <laughs> I, think we've, I think we've bought some piles. <laughs> now, back at the ranch, we're dealing with the hangover. Have we recovered from last night? It was quite incredible, wasn't it? I've never seen so many people in such a small area buying so much stuff that was really worth nothing. How did you feel, Skid? Did you enjoy it? I absolutely loved it. Um, however, it's one of those things. When you and Alan were bidding, yeah. and, and you missed stuff, which you do because it's chaos, yeah. I was thinking, what an idiot, he's missed it. Okay? But then when I was holding up with him, uh, and I missed it, I, I realised it's not quite that easy, actually. No, it's, a, it's a bit more difficult than you think it is. It is. And you've got to know when to come in. Tactics. As well. Because, you know, the tactics, even with a little item, wait, you've just got to wait and wait, see wait, where wait. it's going. And if there's yeah. a little bidding war going on between two people, step away, you're never going to get never it for the right it. price. Do you know what I mean? And talking of little items... The good news about this little Aprilia, I don't know what it is, 50cc, don't know what, it does start, because I frighten myself silly. We'll give it a jet wash, we'll clean it up, and then we'll have a giggle before we sell it at the Jumble this weekend. <laughs> As for the rest of it, remember that Clint Eastwood movie, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. I am not very proud to say I bought this lot. Um, we've got <laughs> some masonry it? bolts. Door stops. Temperature rope seal adhesive. I've been looking <laughs> for one for of those. That's for boilers. Oh, hang on, we've got some down lighters. Very nice. No, they're not. Well, look, that's gone horribly wrong, folks. I do apologise. As for Alan's box of rusty old tools, what are we going to do? Are we going to file this under misdemeanour or are we actually going to try and sell them? People pay well, £5 each for a file. All right, well, £5 each it is. And last, and probably least, the Moto Madness quad bike. I thought good from far, but it seems far from good. I'll tell you what, if Milliard can get this going, uh, I don't know what I'll do, but it'll be something quite eccentric. This will be running in 20 minutes. Really? Yeah, I can't see anything possibly that's wrong with this that can't be fixed in 20 minutes. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to jet wash this and then Milliard will have 20 minutes to get this going. If he doesn't in 20 minutes, he's making the tea. Task number one, give it a quick makeover. How many junketeers does it take to jet wash a quad? Three. Three? Uh, I attack the grime with muck off while Alan attacks the grease with some penetrating oil and Skid cleans the seat. Then it's time for a two-handed hose down. You know what's nice about it? Like the crash bars aren't all bent and scuffed. No, 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 and... no. But, I mean, it has been left outside a little. At the same time, though, I think it looks quite cool. The Aprilia Scrambler gets the same treatment. Then, once it's dry, Alan gets his 20 minutes to get the quad bike running. First problem, reattaching the chain. It's really slack, so we need to adjust it. That's why it came off in the first place. So what we're doing now is just tightening it up. Alan gives it some tough love, and soon it's sorted. Don't you love restorations, eh? Uh, oh, especially in the summer. Then he moves on to the electrics. It's always an electrical problem on these cheaper quad bikes. Five minutes later, he's sorted the wiring and the lights are working. Alan, you've got lights, look. Well, that's a start, isn't it? We've got lights. Okay. Start? We're most of the way there. In goes the fuel. That's about five pounds worth straight away. That's ten pounds. And we get ready to roll. Oh, that's yeah. why one of two things is going to happen. It's going to start yeah. or it's not going to start. No kidding, Einstein. And that's the third thing, which is it spluttered into life and then died. We give the battery a transfusion and hey presto! It's working! It's working! Alan then removes, cleans and refits the carb. So the great milliard, assisted by Skidlington, um, uh, has got our quad bike going. So no, what was wrong with it? The carburetor jet was blocked. And the, as always. The fuse was corroded. And the fuel pipe was bent at 90 degrees, so there's no fuel flowing through. Apart from that, it's perfect. 
on goes the seat, and we get ready for our test drive. Well, I want to go afterwards, though. What? I want to go afterwards. There I want to go. go too. I want to go too. You can have a go as well. That is super quick. Look at that. What a riot! Quad bikes like this have been around since the early 80s. Originally, they were called ATVs, or terrain vehicles, and marketed to farmers. But they should have really been called AHVs, because they're the perfect way to discover your inner hooligan. Look at that. Look at it go. It's fantastic. Ooh. Really fast. It is, isn't it? 